Hi guys, I'm Maya from Naturally Improved Me. You're probably wondering why I'm looking a hot mess. I'm going to explain that in a minute and also explain why my hair is a tangled mess. But, um, anyway, if you watched the last video on my channel, then you probably know I was on, I was, yes, on vacation with my family in Las Vegas, um, for a little while. While I was there, I did not post any videos. I pretty much didn't do anything productive. We just had fun, ate, slept, things like that. And I'm going to talk about the vacation for a little bit. And I'm also going to talk about what I'm going to be doing with my channel in the next few videos. And what I'm going to be doing with my hair tonight. Because it just is just... I'll explain everything, basically. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, we live in Texas. And the... Um, of course, Las Vegas is in Nevada, so we drove there, which was awesome because we got to see the Grand Canyon, we got to go to the Hoover Dam, we got to go to the Petrified Forest, which is actually really, really cool. I think I need to add the pictures from that in the video. Did I do that? I'm not sure if I did. I'm not going to be editing anything out of this video or refilming it because the sun is setting and I really want to get all three of these videos up today and I still haven't filmed the last one, which I'll explain in a second. Anyway, like I said, we drove there. We got to see a lot of really awesome sights. It took a very long time to drive there because we did stop so many times to see certain things and take pictures and things like that. So the actual drive there was about, I believe, 18 or 20, 18 to 20 hours, maybe 19. I don't know. Um, anyway, when we got there, the night that we got there, we were very, very tired. So we just um, slept and ate. The next day, we went swimming, which kind of explains the start of this hair situation. For those of you who don't know, natural hair can get very, very damaged by swimming in chlorinated water. The water there was extremely chlorinated. And of course, after the first night, I washed the chlorine out of my hair with some conditioner. But after I washed it with conditioner, the chlorine still would not come out of my hair, as in I could, my hair smelled like pool water after I rinsed it with the conditioner. And I was using the um, Tresemme curl hydration conditioner and it just was not getting the smell of chlorine out so what I did is use the hotel shampoo since I didn't bring shampoo I figured I wouldn't need to um, I used the hotel shampoo and washed my hair it did get the smell of chlorine out of my hair but my hair was extremely stripped and I used some more conditioner on my hair after that so I was using a lot of conditioner um so the next day we went swimming again. We went swimming every single morning we were there. And every single time, I would wash the chlorine out of my hair with shampoo. Because I feel like having stripped hair is better than having hair with a bunch of chlorine and chemicals in it. Because I really, really do not like when my hair turns red in the summer. And I think I've done a decent job of keeping it from turning red. Last summer, it got really, really brown and red. And it was like weird burgundy. I just didn't like it at all. Anyway, um... Each day my hair felt more and more and more stripped. The fifth day, I believe, I did not wash the chlorine out of my hair. And we ended up walking the um, Las Vegas Strip, which was awesome because I got to see a lot of things that I've only been able to see in movies. It was so pretty. And I posted a lot of those pictures in the video that I just posted. Anyway, um, and that's a really big knot. Anyway, um, my hair that night, I just got really frustrated because... I could smell the chlorine in my hair so I tried to rinse it with just regular water and um, conditioner again and then I tried to detangle through it as I was washing my hair so I ended up losing a lot of hair and my hair was just breaking off, it was extremely damaged and dry so then I ended up having to use shampoo on top of that and my hair was just, I'm pretty sure if I had really good hearing I'd be able to hear it crying for help, it just was being extremely damaged and the sixth day that I rinsed my hair it felt so thin like there was really not much curl pattern at all in it and it was just like a really thin almost afro wavy I don't even know how to describe what it looked like I would show you a picture but I refused to take pictures that day so I just put it in a bun and left it in a bun for a few days and when I took it down it was matted and I haven't started detangling until now so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm detangling through all the mats. My hair may look extremely voluminous right now, but after I had detangled it that time, it was extremely thin because I lost so much hair. So yeah, that explains the hair situation. I did recently order curl formers. I got flexi rods, but I don't like them because they don't get my scalp as... It's basically like poofy scalp and then curls at the bottom because I can't figure out how to get them to stay on my head after I roll them without putting something around my head, which just makes the curls frizz. And it's just, 
a hot mess so that's why I'm getting curl formers so that even if I do put something over my head it's not going to mess it up because the curlers are covering my hair. So I ordered those. Those will be here in 20 days. I ordered them from a um, Asian market site. It's an app called Wish. It's my favorite app of all time, or at least my favorite shopping app. And yeah, they'll be here in 20 days, so when they get here, I will only be styling my hair with the curl formers because when my hair is together, like in a twist out, braid out, curl air state, then it is it just does a lot better, especially once I comb it out because there's no mats, tangles, single strand knots, things like that when my hair is in a curler state. So that explains my hair situation. Um, as for the videos, like I said, when I was there, I did not stretch, I did not exercise. I did not do any things that I was supposed to do, such as drink water. I had started the inversion hair challenge um, two days before we left, and I, of course, didn't finish it. So, and the ride there was extremely long. Um, I liked it because, we, like I said, we got to see a lot of the things I've never been able to see before. But um, when you're in a car that long, you kind of, like, start cramping up, and your legs are falling asleep and things like that. And if you don't, like, loosen up once you get out of the car and stretch and, like, try to relieve those knots and things like that, then they're going to stay like that. And you're going to feel very, very tight. And that's how I felt. And I tried to stretch it out or just a little bit tried as in, you know, when you're, like, try to stretch into the splits or do a back bend and things like that. It wasn't anything extreme, but it was extremely uncomfortable for me. I felt very tight. Like, I was starting to get cramps just from doing that little bit of stretching. So I was like, no, I'll do it later. I didn't do it later. I still haven't stretched since then. So in the next video I'm going to be posting, that's going to be like my first time stretching since we've been back. So if you're wondering why I look extremely, extremely unflexible, then that's why. And piece of advice, I know I just said this, but when you're on the road for a very, very long time, make sure you get some kind of stretching in while you're in the car or when you get out the car at like gas stops and things like that. Just stretch your legs. Because when you feel tight like that and you get out the car and you don't stretch and you just stay tight like that for days and you don't try to work it out in any way, then you're going to regret it like I do right now. So, yeah, the video I just talked about, the one I'm going to be posting, it's just going to be a couple of really simple stretches that I need to do to loosen up. Like I said, I will look extremely inflexible, especially compared to the last videos I posted. But I will be doing 30 days of stretching on this channel, kind of to motivate myself to get back into filming videos regularly and staying on top of the things I'm supposed to be doing. So I will be posting one video every single day of me stretching. Um, and I'm going to be doing the same stretches in every video. It's going to kind of be like a flexibility progress video, but it's more of an inflexibility progress video because I do feel extremely inflexible right now. And you guys are going to see that in the video. So I don't really know what else to talk about. I talked about where I've been what I did, the whole hair situation. Oh, and when I did, um, I washed my hair after it being straight in my last video. My hair was straight. Well, the one before my last video. My hair was straight. My hair did um, revert right back to being curly after it was straightened, but because of all of the damage that I caused to it while it was curly, while I was on vacation, then as you can see, it has almost no curl pattern because of the damage, but also because I'm taking apart any chunks of hair that may be stuck together because of the tangles. So yeah, that I think explains all of it. Um, you can subscribe to this channel for more videos. This pro If you've never seen any other videos on my channel, this video is probably really weird to you. But you can subscribe for more videos. Um, you can check out the video I'm about to post later today and the one I've already posted today. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, all at Naturally Improving Me. And if you have any questions, video requests, tutorial requests, any of that, you can leave that in the comment box or you can message me through my YouTube inbox. Thank you for watching.